Hello again. So it is my lunch break and I'm eating in the car. I actually came to Whole Foods and um, for coffee that I don't need. So there's that. I also like to leave the office and not eat. I don't know. I don't like to eat in the office. I like to leave during my break and leave the building. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. A little pathetic, I guess, that I'm eating in the car, but like, it's my happy place, so. Sorry for the AC going off, but I'm sitting right in front of the sun. It's beaming. I just wanted to like chit chat about life lately. I cannot be the only one who's like going through Growing, going through some shit. By that I mean like mentally. I um just feel like I need to get my life together. I'm not doing or achieving the things that I want to, um, which is a little bit frustrating. I also feel like. I haven't been in my role at my job that long, but I also feel like I need to move on from it because I, one of the things is like I have financial goals and with this role I just don't have, I'm not going to achieve those anytime soon. So it's something I need to consider, even though I don't want to. I don't want to leave, but financially for myself, for the household, I need to like step my game up. And it's a little frustrating. Um, I also want to do more content creation and being in this job full time, in office full time. I don't feel like I really have much time to do anything really because um, now that we're back from like we moved offices I'm closer to home and that's amazing but for some reason I'm still not feeling like I have to have to do anything so maybe a hybrid role would be the most ideal so we'll see I'm not like in a rush it's just like passive and if something comes along something comes along but I also wanted to like touch on like manifestation because I feel like I believe in manifesting to the universe, to God, to whatever, to whatever you believe in. And I feel like before I used to like really, I used to really like, I believe in it, but I used to really like believe it. I used to dive into it. I used to like be it. I used to live it. And I feel like recently I've just lost that. I think with just like frustrations of life it becomes a little bit harder but um to like really like believe in things and like really manifest it because it's not manifestation it's not just like saying it and it's gonna happen no you have to like you have to believe it you have to speak it you have to live it and like when you're down when you're not feeling it, it's really hard to just pretend and that's just I don't know how to explain it like it just doesn't happen when you're like not feeling it when you are feeling low it can be a little bit harder to kind of like bring yourself out of that and like and go back into that manifestation um, mindset and I really do believe in it and I, I think that um, I need to like bring that back into my life and have that kind of mentality because overall whether someone believes in that stuff or not it's like if it's something that's bringing you joy and it's bringing you comfort and it's making you live a positive lifestyle you should do it like just believe what you want to believe whether people want to be like well there's no outcomes like okay but I believe it it's going to happen for me it's going to happen whatever I want whatever I'm manifesting is going to happen for me it's not going to happen overnight but that doesn't mean like you can't just continue to think it and live it and breathe it and like I want to go back to that because it just uh, more positive in my that I'm not even speaking English right now 
during that time and during those periods when I do focus on my manifestations and in that mindset, I am overall more positive and I feel like in my relationship, like I've, I've noticed it as well and not like in my like relationship itself. I'm saying like uh, my fiance made a bet on a sport, like sports bet. And something like little as that, just like watching the game and speaking, like it's like, you know, we, you've already won, that is already yours. And like having like that made the experience more positive. And I felt like I really did feel like calm, like this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. It was a very intense game, but still like the outcome of it was what we wanted it to be. And yes, some people will be like, okay, whatever. But like, I really do feel like we set the energy for it to be positive. And we know when my fiance is like yelling at the TV, I'm also trying to tell him like, calm down, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And yes, that's a little example and it's a sports game. So you're, anyone can just kind of be like, whatever, it's not that serious. But it's just like, that's an example of the mentality. Like, keep calm, it's gonna happen. It's already happened speak in a way where it's already happened and you will literally see a difference and no it's not overnight so that's another thing to keep in mind it doesn't happen overnight i also feel like i've take wait for me the job thing and the content creation thing has been on my mind heavily lately I've spoken to my fiance about it. I've spoken to my best friends about it. I um, actually yesterday was speaking to, was it yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Speaking to my sister-in-law about it. And we were just, you know, talking about new jobs and like kind of like roles and things that I've been seeing and she's been seeing. So we were just having a conversation about that. And we're talking about how ideally we would like to work for ourselves and not work for somebody else. That's hard. It's hard in this economy and it's hard when you have bills to pay. It's hard for, in her case, when you have a baby, but like we don't want to work for other people. We want to work for ourselves. So that's the end goal. But it's just figuring out what we want to do. I know for me, it's content creation. Um, but also, well, we're talking about how hard it is to make that stuff happen. And after that conversation, you know, I'm just scrolling on my phone. I open up my phone. The first thing I see is a post saying, like, I forget exactly what it was, but it's like, are you just sitting at your desk pretending to work? while you're actually on Canva, you know, trying to come up with ideas on how to make money or something along those lines. And that's a sign. That was definitely a sign. And I took it that way and I sent it to her right away because I'm like, how funny, like, this is what we're talking about. And immediately when I open up my phone, that's what I see. What I have to do is make the time because right now what I keep saying to myself, to my fiance, that I don't have the time to do anything because I'm at the job full time, but I have to at least on the weekends or 15 minutes, I don't know, figure out a way to like create stuff so that I can then pursue what I want to do to have, like I need to build a brand first before I can quit my job. I'm like, I'm not able to do that right now. And dedicate my life and my time to content creation. I'm just not at that place, even though it's what I want to do. We got bills, baby. Unfortunately, we got bills. So, just a little rant on my thoughts. What's on my mind lately? I feel like a lot of people may be going through that struggle now post-pandemic, you know, like being back in office and like companies are going to slowly reintegrate that back. If you're hybrid now, maybe that won't be long. And a lot of people have realized that 
really two days out of the week is not enough also i also saw that in a post today so see i'm getting all these signs this morning i saw someone post something and it was like working five days a week to have 48 hours to myself is just doesn't sit well with me and it doesn't it really doesn't sit well with my soul and my spirit so i'm gonna do things that sit right with my soul and my spirit Sorry, this turned into a mukbang, 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 whatever. I don't know why it feels like I haven't made a dent in this bowl. I'm going to stop now, go inside, get my coffee, and head back to the office. What time did I leave? Yeah, I gotta head back. Okay, let's go to Whole Foods.